Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media Home Theater, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be doing a quick walkthrough of this hi-fi space. If you guys have been paying attention to my channel for some time, you guys know I've been teasing this little back room. Um, so now I'm actually going to show it off to you guys and let you know what the gear is. We'll talk about you know what it is, if you need it, and also we have a plethora of speakers back here. But I'm gonna talk about all that stuff. I'll do it right after the intro. Okay, so let's talk about the stack real quick. Down here we have two Michi M8s, right? These are the monoblock amplifiers. They are 1800 watts at eight ohms and correction, uh, 10, 1080 at eight ohms and 1800 watts at four ohms. So these are just some big and bad boys, right? So you'll notice that with these, um, these monoblocks, they have the readout on the front, which is really, really nice. And then with the Michi P5, which is sitting on top of it, that thing works uh, crazy good. The Daxon, all uh, the Daxon, that thing are just incredible. It has um, MC and MM for your phono stage if you need to. And, you know, typically you pay a premium for the moving magnet type of preamps, as well as the moving magnet type of, um, you know, um, phono stages in general. But I have for my sources, I'm using OPPO 205. It's doing double duty right now, so you won't see it in the frame. I basically use that one here for SACD as well as in my home theater for my you know, physical discs. So it's kind of doing double duty and um, that, that's basically the, the setup that I have right there. I do have a streamer as well that's hooked up into the system um, and, and that plays the high res files. On top, you'll notice that we have the Claris Concerto. Really, really enjoy that thing. That does all of the cleaning for sure for this entire stack and I'm a firm believer in power conditioning. You guys know it's, I, I, I've harped it from the beginning whether it be you know on my personal YouTube channel or even over here at Dream Media, it does it just doesn't make sense not to connect your gear to uh, to something as well as whenever something does power conditioning and power cleaning as well as this one does. Um, for the money, I don't think there, I don't think there's, there's really anything better out there to be honest. Down here, you'll notice that the the Michi amps are sitting on the Basso Continuo. These are handmade in Italy. Really really enjoy these. These are just amplifier stands but I really, really enjoy them. They have such a, a class to them and I have Alcantara in my car. That's that kind of uh, suede type of material down there. And I, just, I, I love the feel of it tactily and just the look of it. Um, it it's, it's just something really, really nice. And these are engineered stands as well, handmade. You can also get them in shelves and racks. To be honest, in the next space, I actually plan on getting a full on rack system from Basso Continuo. So highly recommend you guys check those out. Besides that, I've talked about this stack that you see right here. I'm gonna talk about the cabling in the back. It's a little bit of a mess because I haven't necessarily done the uh, cabling bridges just yet, um, but cabling bridges are gonna be coming in the near future. If you look back here, we have a full-on 20 amp circuit coming from the wall. Um, I have a great contact here in Houston, Texas, Crown Electric. They did all of my, my wiring for my 20 amp uh, circuits. We have one here and then one in the, high, in the home theater as well. That feeds the stack here, goes into the Claris. I have two of these high current Claris, uh, these are the aqua cables, these are the crimson. Each crimson feeds the Michi monoblocks. And then I have another high current aqua feeding the Michi P5. You'll see another power cord down there and that's basically for the Oppo whenever I do use it in the stack. And then we have the crimson XLRs here so that whenever I do use the Oppo, I can connect to those, those on the back of it as well. Over here, you're seeing the spiraling of the crimson speaker cabling, and that is basically being used uh, just for the two terminal type speakers. So um, none of these are bi-wired, so I, don't, I, I do have those wires as well in the house, but I don't necessarily need to use them. So let's talk about the speakers real quick. These are the content number twos. Love these things. You know, I would have loved them even more if I never heard these right here. <laughs> these are the Sopra number twos. So the Contas have buttery smooth mids, extremely focused and detailed um, highs, and then the bass, the low end on it is, is very appealing as well. Now you get everything that you like of, from this over on this, you just get more of it. So this is the Sopra number two, Beryllium Tweeter, as well as the W Sandwich Cones. Uh, it has a little bit more of a premium type of finish to it. This one's front ported versus rear, uh, bottom ported. And uh, both of these cabinets are taken into consideration. 
being time aligned so you can actually see that they have a little bit of curvature to them so it makes it to where you know the waves hit your ears in phase and not necessarily uh, cause you any fatigue over here kicked out to the side we have the JTR Noesis 212s these are some very very um, interesting looking speakers for sure and the sound stage that comes out of them and it is literally a sound stage <laughs> like you're seeing this right here behind behind the the, the screen and these speakers disappear i mean it it, it goes for, sh for for saying the rest of these do as well but just something this big and something with that footprint and you know that they're in the room but you can't necessarily pinpoint them that's what's really cool and that's what hi-fi is so definitely recommend checking those out as well down here we have the Eskendo immersive audio speakers you guys know i've been rocking these for a long time i I love these speakers. I, I make no apologies about them. They are some handmade in Germany, seriously over-engineered speakers, coaxial type of design. So they are 100% perfectly time aligned. You can crank these things with crazy SPL, never get any ear fatigue, and everything is just crystal clear. So I think that's it. I want to do a quick little overview of the system, let you guys know what's in this room. You know, uh, there definitely does need to be some acoustic treatment in here for sure. I know that um, that is a huge part of hi-fi and uh, there is a lot of sound coming out of this room. So a little bit of focus um, will shape and mold that, that uh, and, and, um, and tame all those, those frequencies a little better. But I mean, just it, it speaks volumes to the, the speakers themselves that they can still sound great, you know, in a room that still isn't 100% treated. So, I mean, I did a little bit, I put some furniture up, I put down a, a rug, I have, you know, some stuff back here that's kind of out of frame. But I mean, none of this stuff's ideal. For a hi-fi room, it legitimately just should be a room for listening. So I have my comfy chair here, I sit down here, and then I just let stress melt away. That's really what it's about, you know, just sit back, relax, enjoy your music. Everyone has such a strong connection to music. And that's why people get into hi-fi, you know? You sit there and listen to music that you've heard for 30 years. And then just that one time that you catch a little bit of note or like an, a, a sub type of rhythm or, you know, just, just that extra little bit, it's like onions. Whenever you hear that layer, you appreciate it that much more. And that's why people, they invest all this time and effort into making these hi-fi systems. Like, it doesn't make any sense to spend all this money, you know, and, and feel like you're not getting a return on it. You legitimately do. And it's all about quality of life, de-stressing, just enjoying music. Uh, and to be honest, everyone has that strong connection to music. I know I do. I, 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 I can just think of like a, a CD or something and just think about, you know, the, the, the year or so that I was playing that CD back to back, just getting me through whatever I was doing throughout that time. It's transformative. It's meant to be. So, you know, enjoy it. I really, really am excited to let you guys in on this hi-fi journey with me. I know it's a little bit different than what we usually do on this channel. It's gonna be a little more slow paced, but you know, we are going to help educate you guys as much as possible with the stuff that we have uh, available, as well as, you know, even the, the knowledge that we have. You know, we have a bunch of enthusiasts here that just love and geek out on this stuff all day long. So give us a call, we'd be happy to help you out. We'd be happy to design your space. Again, this one isn't perfect. I know you guys will sit there and rip everything apart in this room. You know, you shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. You should do this. You know, I get it. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. This, this room was basically meant to be a quick, a quick little showroom. And then in the next space, because this, this, is, this is going away sometime soon. In the next space, it's going to be purposely driven and you guys will be ecstatic on the, uh, on the execution. That's all I got. I'm gonna leave a little teaser here. If you guys wanna buy any of this stuff, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be happy to help you. Um, just give us a call, shoot us an email, and uh, you know one of our professionals will get back to you as soon as possible. But that's all I got. Really appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys like this type of video, give me a big thumbs up, as well as make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content. More demos and stuff are coming of all this wonderful gear very, very shortly. So let me know which one you guys are most excited about. I'm, I really like these Soper number twos. <laughs> I don't ever want to have to give these things back. These JTRs are crazy, crazy um, on, on their performance. These Escendos, you guys know I love them. And then just the butteriness and clarity of these Contas, you, you really can't beat it. So this is going to be a revolving set. There's going to be lots of stuff coming in and out of here. So if you guys want to see something, let us know. And then maybe we can get our hands on it, test it out for you. That's all I got. I'll catch you guys on the next one.